In this video, we're going to be taking a look at to-do list managers, more specifically, Wunderlist. Stay tuned. Okay, in this video, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at Wunderlist or Wunderlist, as you would say it in German. So, what is Wunderlist? At its core, it is a to-do list application. It is a very simple to-do list application. Now, I will admit, I did not give this app much attention, I guess. It's been around for a really long time, and I know that. But I didn't give it much attention at first, and I think maybe I just thought it was too simple, but I've been using it more recently and have really grown to like Wonderlist. Now, let's go and take a look at what it does. It, At its core, like I said, it's a to-do list manager. It's easy to get stuff done, whether you're planning a holiday, sharing a shopping list with a partner, or managing multiple work projects. Wonderlist is here to help you tick off all your personal projects and to-dos. So... Here they have planning for everything. Uh, it looks like they're planning for a trip, so a book flight to Paris. Uh, send presentation to Frank. And what I like about this app is it will allow you to assign tasks to individuals. And I'll show you that in just a second. You can get reminded of events. So if it has a due date or a reminder, it will remind the person who it has been assigned to or remind you that you need to get it done if it's just your task. You can collaborate with anyone, uh, doesn't matter, and you can access from anywhere. This is probably its biggest pro, is it's available for iPhone, iPad, Mac, Android, Windows, Kindle Fire, and the web, and it works seamlessly across all major devices to keep your life in sync. Um, so at a glance, it's got folders, comments, shared lists, all your devices, reminders, due dates, notes, notifications, mail, uh, adding stuff to Wonderlist. You can do tags, printing, and you can subscribe to their newsletter. So let's go and take now a look at Wonderlist. Now this is Wonderlist on the desktop, not online, but on the desktop. This is what you get when you download the application, more specifically on Windows. And you can see I've got some tasks here. So I've got one item in my inbox. I've got two tasks that are assigned to me. I'll show you how that happens in just a second. I have some starred tasks of stuff that I've starred and marked a point uh, a, bleh, a important. Let's see if I can say the word. And then I've got my personal list. So here's my list for my channel. And you can see I've got one thing on here right now. But if I double click it, it's going to bring up the side panel. And now I have the option to set a due date. I can set it to remind me. And this is the thing I actually like about Wonderlist. Is how, you know how sometimes you just want to make a line item that says pack for trip. But then within that you want to be able to have subtasks like what to pack. A packing list actually. This app allows you to do that and you can have sub lists within an item which is really nice to know you can do that. So let me go ahead and show you one here. Now this one is one that I'm actually collaborating with someone on. I've actually shared this with my family and we can actually add items to this list as we go along. This trip's in a couple days here, or a couple weeks here, not very far away. So we're starting to actually add things to this list. Um, you know, as I think of things that we need to make sure we remember, this is a great, easy way to get this on a list. Not only am I doing it for this trip coming up, I've already started one for our Disney trip in 2016. And again, I've shared it with the same people. So it's really easy to set up a list. Let me go and show you how to do that. You click the little plus down here and you give it a name. So let's say I wanted to create one called um, I don't know test list. 
or app test list. You can. Sh this is where you would go ahead and share it. Um, so you just enter in their name or their email address, and then if you want to make it public or do not disturb it, uh, you can definitely set those up there, and then obviously you would click save. And the way you denote it is it's got the little people next to it that tells you that it is a shared list, not a private list. Um, once it is shared, you will be notified when a new item is added to the list, and you will also be notified when it's an item that you were assigned to do. So like right here, I've got Book Old Key West. That's been assigned to me, and I know that by the fact that my picture's right here. And there it is. So it's assigned to me. It Here's when I set a due date for. I have a reminder, and I have the reminder to buy an additional nine points. And I also put a note in here of when we are going. If I wanted to attach any files or an audio note, I could do that too. And I can also add a comment. So maybe when I complete it, not only can I check it off, but I could add the comment of booked on June 7th at blah time, you know? I can do stuff like that. So let me go and show you now one of the my favorite features of Wonderlist, and that is the ability that it is on every platform. So let me just call up the iPad here. So here's my iPad, and let's go ahead and open up Wonderlist, which is right here. And you can see I've got access to the same types of lists. I've got my show list, I've got my vacation lists, I've got all my lists, I've got access to items that I've completed, I've got access to my inbox stuff that is assigned to me. All that stuff is still available to me on the iPad. Um, setting up an account is very easy. It's name, email address, and a password. It does not ask for credit card information or anything like that, but you probably noticed I have a little star by my face. When you first create an account, you will not have that star. They have a paid version of Wonderlist, which I am currently subscribed to. Um, it's, I forget how much it is a month. I think it's like four, five bucks a month and you get access to all the features of Wonderlist. Um, great little application. I don't know what I would do without Wonderlist. If you like this review and want more of them, please join us on Patreon. Also, I do have a course on Evernote called Getting Started with Evernote. That link will also be in this video's description. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace!